Understanding Putin's Fears, an in-depth view of Russia's monotowns and pension crisis. In the town of Vorkuta, Russia, life is harsh and challenging. Located nearly a hundred miles north of the Arctic Circle, Vorkuta is isolated and difficult to access. The extreme weather conditions, with temperatures dropping as low as minus 58 degrees Fahrenheit, make it an inhospitable place to live. Originally established as a forced labor camp during the Soviet era, Vorkuta and other similar towns were transformed into symbols of Soviet power and industrialization. However, with the collapse of the Soviet Union, these monotowns faced economic hardships, leading to mass migration, poverty, and a pension crisis. The next few minutes will explore the challenges faced by these monotowns and the impact of Russia's pension system on its population. The Rise and Fall of Vorkuta Vorkuta, once a thriving coal mining town, was designed as a single industry town. It was named after the carcinogenic mineral asbestos, which was mined in the area. The town's isolation and extreme weather conditions made it a challenging place to live. However, during the Soviet era, the promise of social welfare and early retirement enticed many to move to Vorkuta and similar monotowns. The collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991 led to the downfall of these monotowns as they struggled to compete in the global market. Bankruptcies, layoffs, and poverty became rampant, leading to mass migration from Vorkuta and other monotowns. The importance of pensions. The Russian pension system played a crucial role in the lives of retirees. With a generous retirement age and social welfare benefits, pensions provided a lifeline for many elderly Russians. However, the collapse of the Soviet Union and subsequent economic hardships led to a decline in the value of pensions. The 1998 financial crisis further exacerbated the situation, reducing the value of pensions by nearly 50%. The Russian government attempted to reform the pension system through the Monetization of Benefits program, but it faced significant backlash from the public. Putin's Approach to the Pension Crisis Vladimir Putin, the president of Russia, recognized the importance of pensions and the political implications of pension reforms. Pensioners became a critical base of support for his party, United Russia. In 2018, Putin made the controversial decision to raise the retirement age, a move that was met with widespread protests and a significant drop in his approval ratings. The retirement age was increased from 60 to 65 for men and from 55 to 63 for women. The changes were implemented quickly, causing further discontent among the population. The Demographic Challenge Russia's demographic challenges further complicate the pension crisis. The country's population is aging rapidly, with fewer young people entering the workforce to support the growing number of retirees. The decline in birth rates since the collapse of the Soviet Union has resulted in an imbalanced population pyramid, with a larger number of elderly individuals compared to younger ones. This demographic shift puts additional strain on the pension system and requires further reforms to maintain its sustainability. Conclusion Russia's monotowns and the pension crisis they face highlight the challenges of transitioning from a centrally planned economy to a market-based system. The collapse of the Soviet Union left these towns economically vulnerable, leading to mass migration and poverty. The pension system, once a source of stability and support, has become a contentious issue for the Russian government. As the population continues to age, the need for further pension reforms becomes inevitable. The delicate balance between maintaining social welfare and ensuring economic sustainability remains a significant challenge for the Russian government and its leaders. As always, do not forget to like and subscribe to our channel, All Things Money, to see more content like this.